Hey, what's up guys? BJ Dell back with an all new weekly art challenge review video. Last week's word was cat, so let's see what you guys came up with. And also make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because I have a special announcement. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into today's video, which is all about last week's word, which was cat. And the first one we have up is from Nelson, who goes by The Real Genius on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description to his IG account. So hop on over after the video, give him a, a shout out and check out his work. He's got some really cool stuff over there. And this design for the cat, I think, works really, really well. I like that the cat is framed against this moon in the back here. The sky, this dark kind of purplish hue works really well. And I think it's not too dark because you've got the silhouette of the house over here and you can still see the silhouette. I do like this kind of fades up from a darker to a lighter up here. I think that works really well. Uh, and I like the, the stars around here. A lot of times people make stars too big and I think it detracts from the design and I think these being as uh, small as what they are just really kind of accentuates what you were going for. I uh, love to just the being perched on top of the wooden fence and you've got the kind of cracks here in the fence along with the knot holes and then the grain of the wood too works really well. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this piece too is being uh, kind of the cat being backlit by the moon. He did a really good job of bringing this yellow around to kind of show that highlight coming from behind. Uh, the one thing I would have done though uh, here, because this part is gonna be kind of the front facing part of the cat. So you wouldn't need the, the yellow here. You really just need it around this outside edge. And then I would have continued to, to do it up here. You've got a different highlight color up here. I would have pulled that yellow there and just done it across all this here. Same thing over here, just to kind of keep it uniform and have that nice backlit glow because the moon is pretty much directly behind on all areas. So you can even, you know, pull the yellow in over here as well. But overall, really, really strong job. Uh, I like the, the line work here. It's really crisp, really clean. I also like the expression of the cat too. It looks like maybe he was up to no good and got caught doing something and, and was surprised by the viewer. So I think it's a, a fantastic job. So thanks for, for sharing today, Nelson. Uh, next up is Ralph. And Ralph is a caricature artist and airbrush artist from Texas, I believe. Um, uh, and he has got an airbrush company called Air Graphics. I believe Air Graphics. Yeah, AirGraphics1.com. I'll put a link in the description to his website as well. Check his stuff out. His airbrush work is just phenomenal. He's got some really cool stuff and really dig seeing what he posts in the group and on his personal page. It's just really cool. And he did a John Wick kitty cat, which I just love. Uh, if you guys haven't seen John Wick before, uh, there's a kind of backstory with the character that Keanu Reeves plays and that he owns a dog. So I think that is kind of comedic gold with this one that you made the the main character that owns the dog in the movie a cat which i think is just really really funny i uh, like the expression on the face the eyebrows here going in kind of a, a different angle on each makes for a really good expression I like too that he's kind of just uh standing there and is is still but you've got the motion from the tie too i think that ties everything in together and adds a little bit more to the design and my favorite thing though is just the use of color um, this white with red and black is Honestly, a really good striking color combination, and I think it works really well. It's one of my favorite color combinations. Uh, I've talked about before that I have always been big into comics, and the one thing that's always stuck with me over the years was back in the early 90s, a uh, co company called Valiant had a comic book called Rye Issue Zero, and this is honestly one of my favorite uh, covers for comics of all time. You can see it's this white background with the red and black stacked on top. And you can just see how striking this is. Uh, also goes a long way to show you too, you don't need a super detailed design to uh, you know have something strong. This is very simple. You've got the silhouettes, but everything just works and it's just super striking. Like I said, this has stuck with me for a very long time. And it's, like I said, one of my number one uh, comic book covers of all time. So uh, you can see why it works well in the design here with the uh, the John Wick cat using the same color combination. So just an overall fantastic job. So thanks so much for sharing that this week, Ralph. Uh, next up is Latasha. And uh, Latasha actually has her own YouTube page or YouTube channel called Tasha's World. And she shares a lot of different time lapses from the 
pieces of art that she creates. And I think she's got a time lapse for this one on there too. So I'll go ahead and link her channel in the description below as well. So hop on over and check her channel out after this video. And this one's a really strong design. I love this little cute trio of cats. One of the uh, the things that really makes it stand out and looks really good is that all the cats kind of have their own personalities. You've got each one of them colored a different color, so it makes them uh, kind of discernible between each other. Plus, the way that they're sitting, you've got this one kind of perched here uh, on his hindquarters, the sleeping one here, and then this one climbing up this perch. I think that's really well done, and it makes you see that these cats all kind of have their separate characteristics and distinguishing traits so good job there i also love this background with the wallpaper just a fantastic job the way that you put all that together i like that it's busy but it doesn't really take away your attention just because you made the colors so close to each other and you kind of muted them so it's not really in your face and i love kind of the twists and turns that you did with some of the designs in the background so fantastic job uh one thing i would probably change is i'm not sure if this is supposed to be like linoleum maybe down here it almost has a watered effect so i would probably just make that just a a flat color even if you wanted to put like some little dots or uh little things in here like this to make it look like carpet you could do that and then i would probably put you know a just a a line here to kind of do a baseboard that would break up the wall from the the bottom floor here i think that would work really well and the last thing here is with the the cats being different colors i said i absolutely love but the clock and the orange cat here are so close to the same color plus you've got them not only right next to each other you actually have the the tail overlapping here so to uh, kind of uh, change that and to alleviate another problem i would probably just go ahead and move this guy down here to where he's a little bit closer and then move the clock up here into this corner. You might have to shrink it down a little bit. But the other problem that that will solve is, I've always talked with cartooning of how, you know, you can take realism and, and twist it and throw it on its head. And uh, that applies for a lot of things, but there's other things that you really have to kind of apply realistic uh, real world effects too. And that's the case in point here with the clock. You've got a cat here who's maybe on his hind legs, what, like a foot? foot and a half tall at most and the clock's right above his head so that's going to be you know a clock that's sitting two feet off the floor so by moving this down and moving the clock up here it makes a little bit more sense to have the clock higher up on the wall i just think it looks a little weird sitting so close to the floor since you know most clocks you kind of want higher up so uh by you know moving this down moving that up we'll solve that problem but overall fantastic design so thanks for sharing that tasha uh, next up is Carl, and Carl has this twisted cat design I absolutely love. I think Carl mentioned in the group that he's not a big fan of cats, and this is kind of what he assumes that cats do when you look away, and I think that is just hilarious. Um, the the use of just a solid white background, and then the, the black outlines of the cat work really well. I like that there's not any extra color in here. I think it makes it more striking kind of to go back to that uh, example of the comic book cover. It kind of has that same striking look because of the simplicity behind it. And I think it works really well in this design. I like the, the heavy outlines here. And then, you know, these other lines of kind of the, the wrinkles and the twists and turns of the skin or the fur. I think that looks really good just because you didn't overdo these and they are so much thinner than the outlines. I do like the tail here too. Not only that, you know, connects in the circle. I think that's a cool design choice, but the shakiness of it kind of adds to that madness of the look. And of course the mouth is just beautiful. I love it. Uh, this design really struck me because uh, it reminds me a lot of one of my favorite artists. His name is Alex Party. It's P-A-R-D-E-E. -E. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of him, check him out. He's got an Instagram and the whole nine, but uh, he does a lot of like weird stuff like this with watercolors and a lot of like funky lines. Uh, he did one of my favorite album covers of all time a, a few years ago. He did uh, the Impossible Kid for uh, Aesop Rock. Just an uh, absolute fantastic fantastic cover design and uh the other thing too that he did he did a character designs for a movie a few years ago if you guys are horror fans i'm sure you've probably heard of adam green uh, he's behind the hatchet series uh, he did the movie frozen not the disney one but before that there was a movie called frozen where uh, skiers were trapped on a ski lift you know in the middle of a blizzard uh, he did grace and then he did a movie with alex called digging up the marrow which was kind of like a faux documentary uh, adam played himself 
and had a, a guy contact him that said that he knew that monsters were real and knew where to find them. And when uh, Adam went to the house to film, you know, the, this, this documentary, uh, the pictures up on the wall that represented what he had seen were actually done by Alex. And then once the actual monsters were shown in the movie, you know, they were all based on his designs. So definitely check out that movie. Uh, if you like kind of weird horror stuff, it's not like a super scary movie by any means. It's got a lot of humor in it. The one thing I didn't like since it's supposed to be a, a fake documentary or a real, you know, documentary, um, the the actor that they used for the guy that had seen the monsters they used ray wise who was leland palmer uh, laura palmer's dad on twin peaks and it just kind of took me out of the movie because you're supposed to think it's real it's supposed to kind of have that blair witch feel to it but you know seeing laura palmer's dad on screen supposed to be this this guy that's seen monsters and it's supposed to be real and you're like no that's that's laura palmer's dad and he was in psych too and you know kind of took me out of it but for uh for what it was, it was good, so check it out, and definitely check out Alex, he's got some killer stuff. And last but not least, we've got Lee, and I think this is Lee's first post to the group, so welcome to the group, Lee. Thanks for sharing your stuff, and I love this cat. The The overall exaggerated, uh, just kind of shape of the cat that it takes is really good. It kind of reminds me of that classic like 60s, 70s style of uh, cartooning and animation. You've got just a very, you know, triangular, stretched out head that just comes down here into this kind of angled body as well and then the look on the face here too with the the expression if you know you've had a cat before you know sometimes you're going to see this expression from your cat the why are you talking to me why are we having this conversation right now you are only here to give me food so what are we doing and i think you just nailed that expression i love to the just the little extras here deciding to put the trash can in along with the the fishbone here i think it's super super awesome i probably would have gone with a trash can maybe just make it a little bit more uh, not so up and down because you've got this kind of weird angles with the cat. So if you did the trash can and just kind of gave it its own, you know, kind of weirdness and maybe had it crumbled in on one side or something like that, I think it would tie in a little bit better with the cat because you've got these really great angled lines and the, the trash can is just kind of uh, plain compared to the cat. But overall, really good job. And that fish bone is just killer. I love too with that that you didn't go outlined and just left it with that white and then did the the drop shadow on there i think it's super super good so great job lee and those are the five different cat designs for this week's video all right guys that's it for today's video as always thank you for watching and thanks to all the artists that submitted work this week uh, if you want to submit your work and possibly be featured in one of these upcoming videos hop on over to facebook the community keep creating a learn draw share our community over there the link is in the description below that's where you share your designs and you can share any of your art over there we want to see what you guys are coming up with uh, also, if you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell for notifications so you can get alerted when I post new videos. Uh, so for last week, we did cat, and this next week, I'm actually taking this word from my 365 Days of Drawing Prompts book. This is a sketchbook I have available on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description for this as well. If you guys want to hop on over and have a prompt for every day of the year. Uh, so with summer backyard barbecues, it's hot out i thought tiki would be the perfect word for this week so let's see what you guys can do with tiki uh, i think it'll be a lot of fun to see what everybody comes up with so i told you at the beginning of the video i have an announcement and i'm super excited for this i've had a lot of people tell me that i should do this and i finally got off my butt and made it happen but i now have a patreon page uh, so if you want to hop on over to patreon after this video i'll put the link in the description for this as well uh, it's a way that you can support the channel and support me and i can come out with tons of new content exclusive to patreon so i'm still going to do the youtube stuff but if you want to get even more stuff behind the scenes stuff uh live streams q and a's even physical stuff mailed to your mailbox every month I've got tiers for that too. We've got stickers, original sketches. There's a lot of stuff over there. And I just appreciate you guys and love the support that you guys already provide on the channel and thought uh, I want to give back even more. And by doing a Patreon, I can provide even more content. So look forward to your guys' support with that too. And I appreciate the heck out of you. Just wanted to tell you that. Uh, as for me, I can be found online, bjdell.com, as well as on Instagram and Twitter at bjdell. So until next time, keep creating.